On Sunday the 19th, Living Spring Chapel International held a special Thanksgiving service for the governor-elect engineer Shei Makinde. People voted for him massively. It was God that put it in people's hands to vote for him. So we are here returning like that one lever to say thank you God. The governor-elect appreciating the wonderful work of providence. I came here and made a promise to God. I said that uh, we will run the government with the fear of God. Watch out for our full 30 minutes program on Tuesday, May 28th at 7.30 p.m. on NTA Ibadan. decided to stick his courage to the sticking place for a man who did not give up the struggle a resilient mind a determined man for engineer Shei Makide, this is a most dramatic turning point a turning point to become the number one citizen of Oyo state here comes engineer Shei Makide. here comes the governor elect affection, deep Christian brotherly affection between senior pastor Femi Imani and engineer Shei Makide, the governor-elect. It's a long-standing relationship that is bonded with Christian love.
in Dominion Cathedral. And I want to welcome you to this special Thanksgiving service to God is in honor of God Almighty as we celebrate the miraculous victory of God's servant, our governor elect, Edina Shei Makine. You have the Bible, if not, we see it on the screen. Luke chapter 17, verses 17, 18, and 19. Luke chapter 17, verse 17. And Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten lepers cleansed? But where are the nine? Verse 18. They are not found that return to give glory to God. Says what? This stranger. Verse 19. I said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Those of us that are familiar with the Bible scripture, we know that story. Ten lepers met Jesus as he was entering the city, and they cried unto him. And he spoke his word of power to them. He said, Come on, watch and come back. They went, and they were all healed. But to give thanks and Jesus noticed it. One thing I got from there, every time God blesses us, He's expecting us to thank Him. He's expecting us to come back and say thank you. I couldn't have done this for myself. That is the essence of this service today. I couldn't have done this for myself. Apart from the other things I mentioned, engineers, human they couldn't have put Himself there. People voted for Him massively. It was God that put it in people's hands to vote for Him. So we are here returning like that one leper to say thank you, God. Say, but. 
see, we must give it our total support if we want this dream to be realized. And how do we give the support? These seven following weeks that I'm going to mention very quickly is not exhaustive. I just pick this out. He cannot do it alone. In addition to prayer, number two, obedience to the law and order of the state. We cannot be breaking laws and expect peace. Number three is the payment of our taxes and other charges and rates by government. No government can operate successfully without money. Without money, Please take good care of your health. Protect yourself from mosquitoes and other infectious diseases. Why am I saying that? So that our medical facilities will not be overstretched. Take care of yourself. And number two, so that we will have a more productive citizen really. A healthy citizen will be more productive. Number five, protection of God. We know them. Many of these criminals, we know them. They live with us. Some of them are even members of our family. Let's stop protecting criminals and their activities. Let's make our state safe for investment and investors. Let's make it safe for every one of us to live in. Finally, religious tolerance and harmony. The overwhelming vote that brought our government in that I said, transcends religion. Ethnic humanity is not going to be a governor of Christians, it's not going to be a governor of Muslims or of traditional worship. And you know there are people that don't even believe in anything. And yet they are members of the state and they will be catered for. Therefore, don't let us win a coloration of religion and having of his government. He is the governor for the entire of the states. Let me stop at that and let me now talk to our Abiyu government. Let me speak truth to power. Sir, I do not know too much not to tell you. I know it must be God. You will succeed. You will succeed. I love you too much. The Bible says in Luke chapter 12, verse 48, that be of you. He said, For whom much is given, much shall be required. Sir, people love you. And that is said is in our people. People love you. People love you. You can see excitement everywhere you go. People voted for you, people work for you. Now, the good thing I will tell you, sir, is please keep those godly virtues in you. Your good nature, the fear of God, the love of the people, ordinary people, being truthful and upright. Please keep it. Number two, be, build a very good team. It takes a team to fulfill a dream. And I want to appeal to the party on which time you were voted in, and all the alliances that came into me and the table, and all those of us who think we own the ideas of the who think we have work for him, please allow him to put a working team together to serve this state. Number three, run an inclusive government, run a transparent government. A people-oriented government carry people along. Number four, have a strong media organ. Let people know what government is doing for them. Most of the time, people talk in ignorance. 
Because you don't know what you're going to be doing. So you need strong professionals to let your activities and the efforts you are making be made known. Number five, take criticism with calmness. No matter what you do, you will be criticized. If you remain focused in this government, please remain focused. There will be a lot of distractions. There are a lot of distractions in government, in leadership. But the Lord will help you. The Lord will see you through. The power of the Almighty will be available for you. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to pray for you. Can you please come around? The Bible says in the time of Solomon, gold was on the street of Jerusalem like dust. Resources, strange resources, will come to this state and things will be put right. And every day the Lord will surround it with fire. It will be the best government we have ever seen. Wisdom will be available, grace will be available, insight will be available. Each time you bow your head, God will speak to you. You will hear him clearly, like a friend speaks to friend. The power of your hand will be strong, and anybody that wants you down will go down. In Jesus' name. You are not here for a selfish reason. You are here to give, you are not here to take. The Lord shall back you up. He will give you men, committed men, devoted men. So let everyone before the Lord with you. The Lord bless you. And bless you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Put your hands together. Amen.
we we'll see massive development by those groups in four years. The lecture is over. Even the people that didn't vote for us, they will still take their own share from this government. So it will be a government that will not discriminate on the basis of where you are from, your religion, your party, and whether you are physically challenged, everybody will be well catered for. Thank you so much, and God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. well-focused mind. This governor-elect is resolute in bringing about a dynamic rebirth. Yes, a dynamic, joyous rebirth for the pace-setter state. A rebirth for Oyo State. We do wish him well. My name is Laulu Let's celebrate the goodness of God. Let's clap our hands. Let's be happy. Let me just assume, just do it. I actually followed you. Uh -huh. I, followed you. <laughs> I knew what happened after uh, Omo Wani Ejoshi in uh, 1983. Oh, you remember all those? It's a wonderful period. But you say you have always been a social activist. <laughs> Quietly, you are there as a social activist. Since that time, your mind has been on being able to do something for your state, I'm sure. And how do you feel now, giving glory to God, that you are now moving into point of action? Well, I thank God, you know, uh, like I said to people, this couldn't have been done by uh, our power. Tell me, Your Excellency, we were listening in the congregation, and there was a special message directed to the people of your state. The social civic responsibility. Was your mind spoken? Uh, yes. Uh, we uh, uh, we said to the people who asked it that uh, we will serve them with the fear of God. It is service to the people. We're not their bosses. We're not to boss them around. People will say, oh, when you get to uh, power, when you uh, in your kingdom, you know, and things like that. So, it is simply a uh, service to humanity, to the people, irrespective of uh, uh, religion, party affiliation, or even disability. You know, if people are physically challenged, it doesn't mean that uh, uh, they don't deserve anything from uh, the government. So, and like uh, when the pastor was uh, preaching, people voted massively for us. It has never happened in the history of the state. They gave us the governorship. They gave us almost, uh, I mean, more than eighty percent of the uh, uh, state uh, legislature, which means they've given us every.
be able to serve them diligently. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So the room much is given, much is also expected. And uh, we know expectations are high. And we uh, are able to serve to take on uh, the task of serving the people of Oyo State. What special message do you have for the people of Oyo State? Yeah, my special message to the people of Oyo State is uh, uh, I said it uh, in several fora uh, during election year that uh, uh, I've said in Europe, so a lot of people will be able to connect with Musa Pei, Tia Kumba Kred Ale, Ayombo Do Ura. Thank you so much. Relax and be hopeful. Relax and be hopeful. What is your prayer for him? My prayer for him is wisdom and uh, favor and grace. Wisdom, favor and grace. And grace. Wonderful. I just say amen to that. We thank you very much, Your Excellency, and we wish you the blessing. Yeah. 